Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode and a very short one at that. I'm on my vacation and I wasn't supposed to record anything new until I got back, but I felt I really did have to make this little addendum because of the video I uploaded yesterday. It's called Cubasis 2 Audio Unit Automation Explained, but I did forget to put in a part explaining how you could actually copy and paste audio unit automation data. And so I'm going to do that here. There's one thing more I need to mention, so just stick with me. Now, to actually copy and paste audio unit automation data, you need to go to the automation menu and find whatever automation and part you want to copy. When you've located the stuff that you want to copy, what you need to do then is to select that. So press the selection tool inside the editing menu, select the nodes that you want to copy. Now, when the nodes are selected, to actually copy them, you need to move outside of the automation window because there's no copy and paste option in here. So move outside the automation window and press the copy button up here. Now, when you've got it copied, you can then paste it. But to actually paste it in the right spot, you need to move the playhead to the right spot. So when you've found the right spot to paste your data, all you need to do is to press paste. And there you go. That's how you copy and paste automation data. Now, there is one more thing I want to mention. If you open up the automation view by using the button inside the uh, mixer or above a plugin, it might look as if the editing tools aren't really there, but they're only hidden by the selection menu for all of the automation items. So just simply tap that and you'll see the editing tools. Now, if you haven't seen the first video I'm referring to in this one, then I suggest you go watch it, especially if you want to know how audio unit automation works. The video is really good. I worked on it for weeks. And that's the thing. My videos take a lot of time to make. I'm really thorough with my videos. I write my scripts down and I double check my stuff. And even though I do all of that, I make mistakes. Um, but I'm also um, a person who likes to show when I make mistakes and do addendums and explain what happened and stuff like that because we all make mistakes and and that's okay as long as you're able to fix them you know i really respect people who take responsibility for the mistakes they make and try to fix them and i want to be a person like that it, people like that have inspired me throughout my life and so i'm catching back on them as we say here in sweden it probably loses something in the translation yeah that, it basically means that uh, i'm using them as inspiration am i saying the same thing twice right so i've um, linked to that original audio unit automation explained video down in the description also at the end of this video and in a card up here um, that's been popping up i think somewhere in the video so you'll be able to find it thank you so much for watching don't forgive uh, forgive don't forget oh, don't forget to press that uh, like like that uh, it's too hot. It's so hot over here. This is Sweden. It's supposed to be the land of the polar bears. If it, be, bears? Polar. Yeah, we've got polar bears. They're walking around here frozen, you know? Polar bears. Uh... We don't have any pint beers, but we do have polar beers. I am the master of broken English. And if you like that, if you like my broken English, then give this video a thumbs up. And also if you felt helped by this video in some way, um, if you want to help in securing the future for this channel so I can keep making videos where I'm speaking Brooklyn, Brooklyn English, English, then please feel free to um, at least consider supporting me on Patreon. I, I might need some language lessons. So that, that's something you could maybe uh, toss me a dollar for. And if you don't want to do that, then uh, I've got a PayPal uh, link up here. So you could do a one-off donation if you'd rather do that. Now, if you don't want to do that, then I've got my Bandcamp uh, with lots of mellow music on it. Uh, that is really good. It's weird to say that because I made it, but I really do think it's good. I'm, I'm really happy with the music I'm making today. I have some electronic stuff coming up but i'm not gonna start working on that until next year um i'm gonna use this year to finish my album first uh, with the mellow stuff so go check that out if you find any tracks you like then just um why not buy one 
If you don't want to do any of that, then you can always share the videos uh, to anyone who might be concerned with that or anyone who likes listening to Brooklyn English. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go and try to uh, have my vacation here. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.